here we are with the pieces polished now one thing I'm gonna have to correct is this I left both ends flat I tried the rounding over like I did on the 3 8 and it seemed to mess it mess it up got a little cloudy didn't look right whatever it was so I left them both flat and they seem to work pretty well can't really get an image on there but we might be able to after we get the X on it so that's what this is about so they're both polished they're ready to go and they're both to apply the crosshair at the end of it so both pieces I'm gonna to have to remeasure this one because uh, I've spun it around but both pieces were four hundred and eighty eight thousandths at one end now one end was 491, one end was 488, there was another one with 488 and 460 or 465,000. So, I'm sorry, 486,000. So I chose the ones that were both the same and I've already got the height gauge set up to do the cut. So basically set it on top of the acrylic, took a measurement, took uh, 244 thousandths which is half of 488 and set the height gauge so now I'll just scribe a line turn it 90 degrees and scribe another line fill it in with magic marker then wipe it off that's the idea so let me check out this real quick and see which end was 488 we're going to scribe so just hold it steady Scribe line. So there's line number one. That's the easy one. Line number two is going to be a little more difficult. So there's the two scribe lines. So I'll fill them in and clean it off and see what we've got. So here it is at the end after it's been cleaned. And there it is on the inside after it's been scribed. So we'll do the other one. And there it is on the inside. So now all we have to do is put them together and adjust them. Okay. I have a very difficult time getting a shot of this. But this on each side of here were the two adjustment screws and the ones in the front and the back. I, what I've done is I've spotted a little piece or a little dot down here on a piece of material. I don't want to move the camera, but trust me, there's a piece of material here with a little drill mark on it. I've lowered the drill press down. I'm using the drill press because this is what I'm going to be using it with. I've lowered it down to the material where it's just barely away from it, maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, and It's hard to make out, but you can kind of see that little dot there in the center then the two crosshairs right over it. So with a little bit of adjustment, I was able to bring it into center and it should work just fine. 
The only things I might change later on, so I've got an adjustment here, one in the back. I would put one up here and one down here. I would go ahead and offset them all the way around. It seems to give a little bit more of adjustability. So that's what it is. It seems to work okay. And I've done both of them. Both of them are the same. I've added a steel shot to the other one with a little bit more detail, I think. There they are, the two finished products, centering scope. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Hope it's what you wanted to see. Remember, you can get the acrylic from Amazon, half inch diameter or 3 8 You can get the one inch diameter glass mirrors from there as well. The rest of it's just shop stock, one inch by one inch aluminum and half inch steel rod. I hope you like this episode. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. Please subscribe if you've liked what you've seen so far. All right, <clears throat> this is Steve again with SSI, and I wanted to try out my new little item here. So this is my new little uh, my new little drill chuck key. Just made it. Just posted a video about it. So I wasn't wanting to try it out, but I also want to cover something that uh, some people may have issues with is trying to find the center location of a piece of round stock. So I've got a small piece here, and I'm going to drill a number 15 hole where this line is. Now, holding it in the vise and drilling it with a drill press is a pretty easy thing to do. But how do you find the center location if you have no way to mark it or gauge it or anything of that nature there's a few things that you can do one is you can get a normal uh, machinist square and you can put it in here and you can scribe a line one direction You can describe a line the other direction. In between the two little points here, you can find center. It's pretty close. It works in a pinch. I didn't exactly get those as straight as I wanted to, but you get the idea. So that's one way. The way that I use may or may not be exactly what people like to see. But it involves using, of course, my centering scope, homemade, oops, and a dial indicator. Now, some of you are going to cringe because I'm going to put this in the drill chuck. This is the part I grab onto. You can see it. Let me get a close-up shot here. There is no chew marks on the end of this. I do not tighten it up to the point where it actually leaves a mark behind. So I'll go through the steps. What I think will be good. So I've got my V-block. It's a small V-block for what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on the immovable jaw side. I'm making sure that my V-block is flat up against my immovable, immovable jaw, non-moving jaw of the vise. And I will tighten up the part against the movable side. Of course, I also have a cross-slide vise, or a cross-slide table, I'm sorry, in this as well, so this really kind of helps. And I don't have enough room to get this in there. Use my fancy new check key. Now 
Now the, what I'm doing here is I'm going to use my centering scope to position it basically right over the line. So the spindle in the y-axis is right over the line. So on the x-axis I have to find center of the round object. So that's where this comes in. And just lightly, lightly hold it in the drill chuck. take out about half the travel of the indicator. So I'm going to do this through the camera so this ought to be interesting. So I've taken up about half the travel here on the indicator and I'm going to move this piece back and forth. And I want you to know that the or I want you to notice that the needle comes to a peak, stops and heads back the same direction. That peak is center. About right there. That should be the center of the part. Or very, very close to it. So I'll drill the hole. This is a center drill or 60 degree drill slash countersink. Depends on who you ask at the tool store. That is to get started. There's the center of the hole. You can see my mismatched marks from my uh, centering deal a while ago, or from my machinist square. Yep, yeah, pretty horrible. I didn't see them very well. So there's the center of it. This method works. If you like my channel please subscribe you can always follow my link there to facebook check out my other projects i hope you enjoyed this episode thanks for watching